Long time no see. It is your boy, Daddy Mac. I hope all of you have been doing excellent. Now, I actually recently um, stopped recording because I had a lot of stuff going on. Health, family, a lot of things that really set me back. I was originally recording Madden and things got in the way. It felt like every single time I recorded, I just couldn't get anything going. Like something would always go wrong. So I kind of got burnt out and got tired of that because I was really excited during that series. Every time I hit the record button and got ready to edit, it just went to bits and pieces, if you know what I mean. So I decided we're going to start a brand new series, Mass Effect, one of my favorite, and I mean favorite games ever. I've only played, excuse me, I've only played up to the second, um, I've only played up to the second Mass Effect. So I'm kind of planning on doing this in seasons, so to say. And the reason behind that is because this game is massive. I don't know how I'm going to edit this. I do want to have some kind of commentary on it. That way it's not super boring. But I also want to make it like a TV show. I want to make it feel like some kind of TV show. How are we going to do it? No idea. We will execute. I have no doubt that we'll do that. So, looking over a couple of things here, I think everything looks okay. Now, finally, there's one other thing I want to go over before we take a deeper dive into this. Um, I don't know what that is. <laughs> I just kind of spaced. But what we're going to go ahead and do is take a deep dive into Mass Effect, and let's get to it. It's going to be an incredible journey. If you guys are a big fan of this franchise, or you have never played this ever, you're going to love it. I love it. Straight up. And I'm really picky with my games. I really, really am. So let's go ahead and take a deep dive. Well, what about Shepard? Earthborn, but no record of his family. Doesn't have one. He was raised on the streets. Learned to look out for himself. He saw his whole unit die on a cruise. He could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emissions sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. 
You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead, so that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. The Council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. That's enough. You're soldiers. Act like it. Sorry, Commander. Joker. Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? I'm on my way. <laughs> is it me or does the Captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the Captain? I'm on my way to give him a status update right now. With all due respect, sir, maybe he'll finally tell you what we're really doing out here. You think the Alliance Brass is holding out on us? If all we're supposed to do is test out the stealth system, why is Captain Anderson in charge? And then there's Nihilus. Spectres are elite operatives, top covert agents. Why send a Spectre, a Turian Spectre, on a shakedown run? doesn't add up. You don't trust Nihilus. I don't like Turians in general. It runs in my family. My grandfather fought in the first contact war. Lost a lot of friends when the Turians hit us. That was 30 years ago. You can't blame Nihilus for that. No, I guess not. But it still makes me nervous to have a Spectre on board. Especially a Turian. We're an Alliance vessel, human military, but Nihilus doesn't answer to the Captain like the rest of us. Spectres operate outside the normal chain of command. And they don't come along just to observe shakedown runs. <laughs> Nihilus looks like he's expecting some heavy action. I don't like it. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. What do you think, Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. Only a fool goes looking for a fight, Corporal. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. Do your job, follow my orders, and there won't be any problems. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coups. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. This mission isn't about personal glory, Corporal. We have a job to do. Don't do anything stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, sir. I'm not gonna screw this up. The captain's waiting for me. Commander Shepard, I was hoping you'd get here first. It'll give us a chance to talk. What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? If you've got something to say, just say it. Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. Is someone gonna fill me in, Captain? We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. There must be a reason you didn't tell me about this, sir. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. I thought the Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. Their legacy still remains. The mass relays, the Citadel, our ship drives. It's all based on Prothean technology. This is big, Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. 
Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Why didn't we keep the beacon for ourselves? You humans don't have the best reputation. Some species see you as selfish, too unpredictable, too independent, even dangerous. Sharing that beacon will improve relations with the Council. Plus, we need their scientific expertise. They know more about the Protheans than we do. The beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate. What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. You'll be in charge of the ground team. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden Prime. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! We are under attack, taking heavy casualties! I repeat, heavy casualties! We can't! Get evac! They came out of nowhere! We need... out after that no calm traffic at all it just goes dead there's nothing reverse and hold the 38.5 yeah. status report 17 minutes out captain no other alliance ships in the area take us in joker fast and quiet this mission just got a lot more complicated a small strike team can move quickly without drawing attention it's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Elenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Your team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping survivors is a secondary objective. The beacon's your top priority. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck! We are approaching drop point two. Here we go. What, what do you guys think of the prologue? Beautiful, in my opinion. Um, here is what we are going to do. So, I'm a little bit rusty straight up a little bit rusty and the last time i played this i actually did play in pc but don't worry they're harmless um so what happened originally i was recording this on my previous pc and my previous pc was not powerful enough to run this game and 
uh, stream at the same time, or record, I should say. Now, I was really excited about the series within itself, and it just didn't work out. See if I still remember. Oh, this is a sniper. Beautiful. So as you guys heard, there are the Protheans, and then there are these creatures. And I won't spoil exactly what these things are. Um, let's see if I can remember how to switch my weapon. Don't remember how to switch my weapon. Is it this? Nope. Nope. I don't remember. Okay, so that's med gel. That's the grenade. Rip right through his shields. We're at a chance. Sometimes Marines die. The rest of us just have to carry on. We still have to find that beacon. Aye, aye, sir. It's an older game. That's why you guys noticed. Oh, that's how you switch. There you go. Okay. Where's the assault rifle? So, Kess, I believe this is me down here. Oh, no. This. Give me my handgun. There you go. The bottom is me. Okay, I kind of remember how to play. Not really, though. Got oh, look. More drones. I always like using the handgun. I just think it's more efficient. Probably gonna be some more. I still don't know if I'm gonna use my my face cam or not. Don't know how I feel. Don't know how I'm gonna edit this. Is the thing. Then it's allergy seasons, and you guys probably don't want to see that. Didn't mean to shoot that alien. Where is it? There's another drone here somewhere. There you are, big boy. There you go. This is only the beginning of this game, and I am super excited. I like Mass Effect a little- I mean, I like Mass Effect 2 a little bit better. I think the story really, um... Let's go help her out. These things have a lot of HP. Got it. Oh, we're good. Okay. Ashley. I don't remember their names. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, sir? Give me a status report, Williams. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, sir. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? They must have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. We could use your help, Williams. Aye, aye, sir. It's time for payback. What else do you know about the Geth? Just what I remember from history class back in school. They're synthetics, non-organic life forms with limited AI programming, created by the Quarians a few centuries ago. 
They were supposed to be a source of cheap labor, but ended up turning on the Quarians and drove them into exile. Well, after that, they just kind of disappeared behind the Perseus Veil. Nobody's really heard much from them since. Have you seen a Turian Spectre around here? There aren't any Turians on Eden Prime, none that I've ever met. Not sure I'd be able to tell if one was a Spectre anyway. If you saw this guy, you'd know. Carries enough firepower to wipe out a whole platoon. Luckily, he's on our side. Sorry, like I said, no Turians. Tell me everything you know about the Beacon. They were doing some digging out here to extend the monorail and expand the colony. A few weeks ago, they unearthed some Prothean ruins and the Beacon. Suddenly, every scientific expert in the colony was interested. That's when they brought us in to secure the site. I don't know much about the Beacon itself, but I heard one of the researchers say this could be the biggest scientific discovery of the century. What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the Beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. Seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. Never knew they were coming. Move out. Such a beautiful game. Okay, so we learned about the Geth. Those are the synthetics that we have been shooting down, and they are pretty good. They're, as far as, you know, what I'm trying to say. Um, pretty good as far as enemies go. And I have this on a harder difficulty. have this on veteran. So, um, I'm expecting a challenge. The last time I played this, I played this on normal. And there's actually harder... Uh, there, there's actually harder difficulties that we can try to play. And we might do that for Mass Effect 2. Might eventually change the difficulty here, but I am not too sure. Get rid of this Geth here. There's another Geth Trooper over there. Throw a little grenade. Couldn't get it. Over there. I'm gonna try to flank him. What's up, buddy? Oh, he was ready for me. Okay. Gun away. These are all weapons, too, and the level of the weapon. This is the big site. These are also Geth. Well, actually, they're some of the people that died. This is the dig site. The beacon was right here. It must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. We make for the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Yeah, gotta get my gun ready because I got a feeling there's gonna be some. Small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Roger that. Let's see if we can hurry it up a little bit. There's gonna be some enemies. Camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. So mind you, these were actually humans at one point. As you saw the guy get impaled earlier, this is the result of that uh, of that process. Come husks. These things are really annoying because they actually blow up in your face if you don't take care of them. ASAP. Got rid of that one. Another husk right here. The blue bar is their shield, or the red is their health, as you can kind of see there. Put the weapon away, don't need it. And I believe, if I recall, PC is actually a little bit different as far as decoding goes. It was a little bit easier, in my opinion, on the PS5. Check this out for, for my people that have not played PC. Okay. Here we go. Basically hacking this stuff. There you go. Panicked a little bit. Humans. Thank the maker. Hurry. Close the door before they come back. Don't worry. We'll protect you. Thank you. I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. 
They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. What else can you tell me about the attack? It all happened so fast. One second we were gathering up our equipment, the next we were hiding in the shed while the Geth swarmed over the camp. Agents of the Destroyers, bringers of darkness, heralds of our extinction. We could hear the battle outside, gunfire, screams. I thought it would never end. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Did you notice a Turian in the area? I saw him, the Prophet, leader of the enemy. He was here, before the attack. That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. He couldn't have been here. I I'm sorry, Manuel's still a bit unsettled. We haven't seen your Turian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well-preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil. Awakened the beast. Unleashed the darkness. Manuel, please. This isn't the time. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit... Unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Say goodnight, Manuel. You cannot silence the truth. My voice must be heard. Oh my god! What did you do? That might have been a little extreme, Commander. You can't just go around whacking people in the head. Just a little bump on the head. Let him sleep it off. I suppose you're right. By the time he wakes up, the meds will have kicked in. Williams, take us to the spaceport. Good luck, Commander. Move aside. Okay. Investigated there a little bit. This is going to take us to... I believe uh, this. Saren. Nihilus. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The Council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. And there he is. There's some Geth over there. Okay, let's get rid of these things. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of these husk before they come attack us. Come on. All these things are annoying. Where are they? There you are. Get rid of it, get rid of it, get rid of it. Stay away from me. Yeah, maybe we just equip the Kessler. Yeah, we don't want those things close to us. Fall back, fall back, fall back. And that's what I was talking about. They really can decimate your party. Get away from those things. If you guys are playing this with me, shout out to you. This is a beautiful game, and I really hope that you guys enjoy it. Okay. Okay. How do I crouch again? Okay, there you go. Got rid of them all. I'm gonna put my gun away. And we'll go investigate this little section here. I believe there are more people in here. Okay. Don't panic, don't panic, don't panic. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out, we're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? 
We took care of them. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Ah, uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. Knew it was trouble the second I saw it, so we made a break for the sheds. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only, it was coming from inside your own head. It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that. We survived. If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance. Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Not until now. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. If there's something you're not telling me... Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. You're breaking the law, Cole. We're not hurting anybody. Hell, most of the time I don't even know what's in the packages. Just thought there might be something we could use. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. Hand it over and I'll be on my way. Thank you. Oh, that's a good pistol. Skill electronics is too low. And we can actually upgrade our electronics right now, if I'm not mistaken. So this is the the, prog the progression, sh progression system. Oh my goodness, I can't talk. And actually, now that I'm looking at it, I think I usually play by 60 levels. Now, um, who Kaden is our tech guy. And decryption level 1 electronics is actually what we're going to need to do. I think, which one was it? Okay, we're gonna do decryption here. And then put in our electronics. There you go. And I get it. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Don't panic. Oh. There you go. Easy. You could also go ahead and start upgrading uh, your people's weapons by going to the equipment section. And for myself, I'm actually going to be a little selfish when we're grabbing the Stinger too. Really, really good handgun. There's another handgun that I really like using, but I do not remember the name of it. But if you are playing this game, I do like the Stinger. Okay. If I can just stop switching my weapons. There's Nihilus. Commander, it's Nihilus. I'll grab him in just a moment. There's ammo upgrades, which is pretty crucial depending on where you're at. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait, don't, don't shoot. I'm one of you. I'm human. Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. I am sorry. I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Powell. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. You're saying Nihilus was murdered by a Turian? The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I, I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I had been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I, I was already behind the crates when the attack started. Wait a minute. 
You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? I... Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I... I sneak off behind the crates to grab 40 winks where the supervisor can't find me. You survived because you're lazy? You ditch work. Then you cower back here and do nothing while the Geth butcher everyone else. I don't even have a gun. What was I supposed to do? Run out there and die? I couldn't save them. Nobody could. It, it was horrible. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Coward. Where'd you go? Went behind the crates? Under oh, shoot! I was not expecting that. Get rid of those troopers. The troopers are not the annoying ones, it's the primes. And you guys will see what I'm talking about later throughout this series. Maybe switch to the assault rifle. You run, we're gonna... We're gonna... Sh we're gonna sprint. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Oh, there's a lot of them. These things put shields there. I think that's a prime. Right there. Get get some headshots going. That was a crit, I think. Or a dead headshot. Okay. Check this out. Use these to blow things up. I think I got that one. Yep. There's another one somewhere. Move up, move up, move up. Let's move somebody right here. Cover me, cover me, cover me. If this game were online, it would actually be pretty fun, not even gonna lie. Even if it's if if it were to be single player. Oh, I didn't see you, buddy. Oh, I missed that shot. There you go. He's down. I know you're out there. Oh, oh. Gotcha. Oh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful, too. Oh, I'm running low on HP. Gotta use a medkit. Friendly fire? Is that what that was? There you go. I think there's two of them up there. I think that's all of them. The cargo ship is just ahead. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Okay. Here's one of them. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! Cover me. Them all and shut them down. Easy task. Okay, we just gotta get rid of these Geth. These Geth can be kind of lethal sometimes. Maybe I should have put it on a harder difficulty. Where are they? Use my sniper rifle. One shot kill, baby. Let's get it. That was odd. There you go, that one's down. There's another one right here, just... Bro, what's going on? Got rid of the shield. There you go, one shot. Yeah, there's another charge right here. There's another geth right there. Easy. I really love this sniper rifle. And once I get the more powerful one, it's game over. Disarm this real quick, and then we got two more charges remaining. Hey, buddy. Oh, that was not a kill? Oh, these snipers can be deadly too. They have lower health though. Okay. There's another one. 
That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, we're we're making good progress here. Switch to the handgun because we're getting a little closer. We're gonna be over here. Maybe I'll actually be okay with using the uh, the sniper rifle. There's gonna be some husk. How much time we got? We got three minutes. We got plenty of time. Down. You're also down. Okay, now here comes the husk, I believe. Come here, buddy. These things are easier. Just don't let them get near you. There you go. Get away, get away, get away. There you go. That's all of them. Just gotta loot the area. Oh, I missed a charge. I'm a, I'm a dummy. Go get that real quick. There it is. We got all enemies though. Okay, so just a couple more minutes and we'll call it an episode. I think this is pretty good for a first episode, not even gonna lie. And there's a lot of side tasks that we gotta do eventually. So this gameplay, this journey is gonna be a nice long one. A nice little journey. I'm just, really, I'm just looking over the area and see what I can loot. That's one thing I did not do on my first playthrough. I didn't do that enough, at least. Yeah, we'll take those. I think there's nothing else. Okay. Normandy. The beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Unbelievable. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Something must have activated it. Roger, Normandy. Standing by. We identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime, the Normandy, a human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. <laughs>